I may not be able to find a chase and win a freaking soda battle. Link in the description down below if you want to check out some soda battles. But your boy did finally catch an exciting little break and won himself a spot in the Funcon Summer Convention Lottery. <laughs> Now I know that seems like it would be the biggest announcement in today's video, but we are just getting started. So before you try and take off and leave, let me just ask you one quick question. If you could have any one figure from the Funcon Summer Convention sent directly to your doorstep for the total cost of 100% free 99, which figure would you choose? While you're over there thinking about your answer, how about I show you all the figures I'm aiming to pick up during my lottery time slot? And hey, don't take too long thinking though, because I'm gonna need you to drop a comment down below later on in this video with your answer. This is very important. But until then, let's get into it. Since there's only a few days until the con starts, I'm not gonna bore you guys by painstakingly going over every single figure that's exclusive to this event. Chances are, you've already seen at least 6,000 other videos listing them off one by one, and to do that again in this video would just be totally repetitive and unnecessary. So instead, I'm just gonna share with you guys my list of must-have figures, and in no particular order, here we go. So I'm sure these first two are gonna come as no surprise to anybody who's familiar with me and this channel. And if this is your first time dropping by, hi, nice to meet you. My name's Robbie, but over here I go by Much Pops. If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, give that subscribe button a quick little click so we can stay connected. There. Now that we're better acquainted, here's a quick fact about me. I freaking love Diamond Edition Funko Pops, and I'm on a mission to collect every single one of them. See, we're tying it all together now. And now that you know that fact about me, I'm sure it won't be hard to guess which two Pops I was alluding to in the beginning. And yep, you guessed it. I'm talking about the Diamond Bulbasaur and the Diamond Squirtle. Now, I'm not a big Pokemon collector, and I don't really know much about the show or the card game, but I do know that that I am a diamond pop completionist and that means I'm definitely gonna have to grab these two and lock them into the collection. So the next two figures on my must-have list are gonna be ones that I actually want to collect and not ones that I'm just obligated to add based off of their variations. So these ones come from two of my all-time favorite comedy shows Parks and Rec and The Office. And something cool I recently discovered is that both of these shows were actually created by the same person, the incredibly talented Mr. Greg Daniels. Shout out Office Ladies Podcast for all the hot information. So it makes sense that they'd both be so freaking hilarious and also that both of these figures would be linked together on my list. And if you've seen the full reveal list, you already know who I'm talking about. But if you haven't yet, they're gonna be the Filibuster Leslie and the Samurai Stanley. We, we, we so excited. We so excited. I am seriously so excited. Here we got this funky, fresh, roller skate wearing Leslie, which is gonna be from the episode of Parks and Rec, where she has to miss attending the early 90s birthday party at the roller skating rink that she's planned for Ben. Because her political nemesis, Jam, is trying to get his bill passed without her standing, or I guess you could say skating, in his way. So she glides on over straight to filibuster that nonsense. Hence the name, Filibuster Leslie. Such a funny episode and definitely one of my all-time favorites for sure So I was super excited to see when they made this figure a reality then coming up next We got right here Stanley as the samurai and this one's gonna be coming from the episode Costume contest where the winner of the contest is supposed to receive a coupon book that's believed to be valued at $15,000 spoiler alert. It's not also Stanley does not win it's Oscar. So he kind of dressed up for nothing. What can you do? Also, here's a fun fact for you. The actor who plays Stanley is actually named Leslie in real life. So if you wanted to get all technical about it, you could say I've got my eye on two <laughs> Leslie Pops in this Funkon exclusive list. That's only if you want to get technical though. Okay, sorry. 
Moving on. So the next figure coming up on my list is going to be the Belly Dancer Homer. Now to be honest, I don't really have any idea which episode this figure is from, but I do really love the Simpsons line and have a pretty significant amount of them in my collection already. Mainly it's going to be the Treehouse of Horror stuff, but I'm slowly adding in other Simpsons figures as well. So I'll have to look this episode up for sure to see what's actually happening in this one. But for now, I really do love this figure and he's gonna be belly dancing his way straight into my collection. And after that belly dancing Homer, that's pretty much gonna do it for my list of Funko Pops. But this Funkon lottery list would not be complete unless we made sure to add every single soda available straight into the cart. But if I'm being honest, I'm not I'm not super excited about any of these in particular. I've never really been into Masters of the Universe. I'm not a big Marvel fan. That black light chase on Thor does look pretty sick though. I will give you that. I definitely do hope that we can end up pulling one of those. Um, I do like the retro black and red suit Harley Quinn, uh, but I definitely think that the Suicide Squad Harley soda that they put out a little while ago looks a heck of a lot better. And I already have one of those, so I mean it's kind of like whatever on that one. Um, I've never really heard of Kaboom Cereal, so I don't even really know what the heck that one's all about or anything. Um, but basically that being said, I do think that they will be fun to battle with once they come in. And although I'm not super excited about any one figure in particular, I am at least familiar enough with most of them to justify adding them into the collection. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe I'll get extra lucky and pull a few con exclusive chases from those sodas. So that'd be pretty sick if we could end up doing that. And I've already gotten lucky with winning this lottery slot anyway, so wouldn't that be nice if we could pull some chases? Oh yes, it would be nice indeed. But you know what would be even nicer? If I just get to the freaking point already and tell you guys how you can win one of your favorite exclusives here from the Funkon Summer Convention list. So this is where that very important comment I mentioned earlier comes into play. You just heard me rattle off my list of must-have figures, and since Funko is only allowing one of each figure to be purchased in each and every lottery slot, those ones are clearly gonna have to be, unfortunately, off limits for this contest. But any of the other figures on the list are all fair game. So all you've gotta do right now is leave that comment down below letting me know which figure you'd like to win if you could win any single figure from the Funkon Summer Convention. The figure that gets commented the most down below is the one I'm gonna buy to give away to one of you lucky subscribers. Then, I'll put out an official video with all the steps you need to complete in order to be entered to win. Hint, you're gonna have to be subscribed in order to win. So, if you haven't already subscribed yet, go ahead and do that real quick. I'll wait. Okay, you just subscribed? Great. Step one is already complete. Just be sure to check back later on this week for the official giveaway details video to make sure that you complete the rest of the steps too, because you definitely don't want to miss out on that. So there you guys have it. When Much Pops wins, we all win. So I was super stoked to finally win a freaking lottery spot, but what good is a win like this if you can't share it with your people. So don't forget, leave that comment down below with the figure you'd like to win most. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed yet. Give that like button a sexy little spank. And don't forget to check back later this week for the official details on how to enter the contest. Before that video drops though, I'm gonna be posting up one of me opening up some of the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Funko NFT packs. And I'm actually super excited about doing that. And also I'm going to upload a screen record of me doing my Funko online lottery kind of shopping spree thing. So that should be a fun one too. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed seeing my list of wants from the Funkon Summer Convention, if you're excited about the upcoming giveaway we'll be running, and if you want to see more Funko content from me in the future, I really hope to see you guys again soon on the next one.